Today's video, I'm going to show you guys the brand new Zar cards and a new deck list to show you guys just how broken the new cards are. I want to give a massive thank you to everyone that has been patient with me. I know I haven't uploaded in three months. In honor of everyone being patient, I want to do a giveaway. Starting today, we're going to be releasing a brand new deck box. This is a limited edition Beyond the Pendulum deck box with Pendulum scales on the back. And in fact, I love this artwork so much that I got it tattooed on me. <laughs> That's right. So I got the same tattoo on the deck box, the Pendulum Scales, in honor of the release of Supreme King Zark. And this deck is insane. Make sure to go check it out down below. The way the giveaway is going to work is I'm going to be giving away two deck boxes. One of this and one of the original red Pendulum deck box. So they're the two Beyond the Pendulum deck boxes. I'm going to be giving away one of each of them. The first person to purchase a deck box starting right now is going to be receiving their full money back and this free deck box. I'm going to be screenshotting this in my next video. So whoever purchases this first down in the link below will be receiving a free deck box. Whoever is the 10th person to receive a deck box will also be getting their full money back and getting their deck box for free. That's how the giveaways will be done. The first person will get their money back. The 10th person will get their money back. And you guys will be getting these deck boxes totally for free as a giveaway. I'll be doing a screenshot at the, my next video so you can see who gets it. And I'll be re fully refunding you. So enjoy your deck boxes. Uh, they're beautiful. I personally like the blue one the most because I literally, I mean, I got it tattooed on my fucking biceps. Of course I love it. That being said, thank you guys for coming on. And let's get started now on the beautiful, new, up-to-date, brand new deck list of the new Zark cards. Let's go. There's a new card that came out and it's a Supreme King Gate Magician. I'm gonna show you guys how to use this properly and there's multiple ways to play this deck. I'm gonna show you guys what I think is the best and that is a billion hand trap version of Pendulum. This is a two card combo deck now. Thanks to this broken ass card. This card is absurdly good. So, three hand traps. The point is getting fucked. They're losing if they're going second. And if they're going first, they're still losing. And if they're going anything, they're still losing. I'm gonna go Dragon Shrine here and Dragon Shrine is gonna send first our Otis Arc Pendulum to already get a Pendulum Dragon in the grave and then send Dark Worm. We're not gonna special Dark Worm and Dark Worm is now able to add any Supreme King from your deck to your hand. Luckily, Supreme King Gate Magician are, is able to be added. We're pretty sure that it's gonna be translated to Supreme King Gate Sorcerer, so it cannot be added with Pen Call. This version is pure Zark, pure Dark Worm, pure Supreme King. So there's no Magicians in this version. I'll show you guys the Magician version over the next few days on a short deck profile. Here, now the effects of Supreme King Gate Magician is multiple effects that are really good. One, you could destroy itself and you could place any Supreme King Gate monster in its place. This is really good for one. For two, it protects Zark from being able to be... A Zark, you control, cannot be banished by your opponent's effect. It's just a little extra bonus. And now it can't be banished, can't be destroyed, can't be targeted. It's like very difficult to get rid of with as a bonus. The main effect is if you have a Supreme King Gate card in your scale, other than itself... You can send a Pendulum Dragon XYZ Synchro or Fusion from your hand or extra deck to the grave and special summon this card from your hand. So you send it from the grave, so from the extra deck to the grave, special itself, and then whenever it's special summon, it adds the greatest trap card known to mankind, Soul of the Supreme Celestial King. Not only does this card be able to pick, not only is it any scale you want, and this is any scale you want by itself, you can literally pick if you're missing a high skill, you get a high skill if you want. For one. For two, it's a level seven. For three, it's a spellcaster. For four, it's a low skill or high skill. For five, it adds any trap, any Zark card you want in your hand. For six, it's an extender to make beyond the pendulum. This card busted. This card is the glue of all Zark. Now, what does the trap do? The trap says tribute a spellcaster pendulum, 2500 or more attack itself. The, literally the card that added it. And then you fusion summon Zark by banishing cards to summon it from the extra deck or deck. What the heck? Like you don't even need to go through all that nonsense of Astrograph of putting it in the graveyard. It fusion summons from the extra deck or deck. So this alone will summon Zark on the opponent's turn. This card is busted. It's seriously insane. It's ridiculous. As long as the four are properly, are proper, which it's a proper summon. We have, the only brick you're going to need to play is one Arc Pendulum, which is not even a brick. It's fine. Next, you're going to go to Beyond the Pendulum to search for Supreme King Lightworm. This is another one of the new cards. What Lightworm will do, it's not as good as Darkworm, but it's not bad. I'll show, there's a few ways to utilize it. 
I'll show you the way we're going to utilize it. Because we open three hand traps, we can't do too much. So we're just going to scale it. We're going to pendulum summon and pass. Now, it looks like zero negates with three hand traps, but it's really going to be a board breaker galore. So what we're going to do now is we're going to summon Zark on the after the opponent at least commits two cards to the board. At least two cards. You're going to summon Zark. You're going to summon Zark to blow up this whole field at least two cards by banishing these four. Because it's a proper summon, Zark is summoned successfully. Its effects is able to be used and the opponent is now fucked. It's not over yet. You're going to wait for the opponent to commit to two more cards. Now your opponent is going to commit to two more cards in the field and then you're going to use the effect of Lightworm. What Lightworm says is if you control Zark and any other Pendulum monster, you could special summon itself and then the effect will trigger to Synchro Summon on the opponent's turn and to add a Supreme King Gate monster from the extra deck to the hand. So now, you, while the opponent, you just blow up the opponent's board with Zark, you blow it up again with Supreme King Clearwing because it's a tuner. So then, it doesn't say tuner here because it's a custom card, but it's a tuner. So you have Zark destroying the board, you have Clearwing destroying the board, so the board gets destroyed in two different ways. See you later. And on top of that, you have three hand traps. And we weren't even able to build a board because we opened three hand traps. So even when you brick, you still have an unbreakable board here of Zark and Clearwing. Even in a brick, this is done with two cards. So two card combo ends on Zark on the opponent's turn, destroying the board and Clearwing. Not to mention, Supreme King Gate Magician on your turn, when your turn comes back around, you just added this card back, right? Supreme King Gate Magician can now add the trap. So there's a second trap that this deck has. The old trap that's currently legal. So on the opponent's turn, well, your opponent's not doing jack shit to this. Even if you don't draw a scale on your turn, we didn't draw a scale, who gives a shit? We're going to use Gate Magician Effect now on our turn to get the trap. And what the trap does is it's now able to, we're going to get the trap to the graveyard. And then on the opponent's turn, we're going to use the trap to summon out four more big monsters to kill him. So the follow-up's also crazy. I'm going to show you guys now what happens when you draw four monsters or three monsters. Three monsters is all you need to fully combo, but this is the base. Two card combo, where all you need is any Supreme King Gate and any way to Dark Worm. It didn't need to be Dragon Shrine, it could be a normal summon. We didn't normal summon this turn whatsoever. We could have normal summon Ghost Mourner and have an extra hand uh, extra interruption, but I'm just showing that it's a two card combo, it's Dark Worm plus any Supreme King Gate. That's all you need. You have, you have Revol Revolution Dragon, you have Prosperity, you have, well, Prosperity's a little rough in this deck, only do it for three, but in dire situations for six. Uh, you have the new spell cards. So there's so many ways to do it. I'm going to show you guys now what happens with uh, with a few extra monsters in hand. So this is over here is with four monsters in our hand. It's going to be the same setup. And three monsters, four monsters, the same thing. You're just going to get extra negates on the board. So the negates is never an issue in this deck. And this is not even with harmonizing. This is not with other pendulums. This is just very basic, pure Supreme King 16 hand trap deck. You cannot play this deck with Super Heavy Samurai because you really need to be playing the trap cards in this and the spells are very important for consistency. So you end up doing a Pendulum Summon and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to Absolute War, Absolute Dragon. Absolute Dragon and beyond the Pendulum we're going to Selene and luckily this thing's a Spellcaster. So you summon it back and then you make Apollosa. Just always make sure in this combo because Lightworm is going to be in the scale to maintain, keep Darkworm and keep King Magician, King Gate Magician in the in the Pendulum uh, Monster Zones because you're going to need them for Zark and for the Clear Wing. Now on the opponent's turn, you're going to go Zark. So they're going to get hit with Zark. They're going to get hit with Vortex. They're going to get hit with Double Apollosa. And on top of that, you're going to Clear Wing their ass again. So their board gets broken twice. On top of that, on your following turn, when you end up normal summoning Darkworm, adding the, the Supreme King Gate Sorcerer again, and then summoning Sorcerer again off its own effect, you're then going to be able to search this card, Soul of the Supreme King, which you're then going to use that to summon this which is also a broken ass card, where you can literally, this card says, when your opponent activates a spell card or effect, banish this card and a Zark, so this is the follow up idea. After you already use your first Zark, you're gonna use this one. And this literally special Zark. So even if you just were, oh, you start with this, if you were to try or you want to search it, if it's a slow game, if you're getting hand trapped, you search this right off the bat, you special Zark on the field, ignoring its summoning conditions, it's the effect is negated, it's fine. You can also use a Soulful Cord Link 3 to have the effect not be negated, but then you just get that card, you destroy it, and then it, or just get, it'll get back to the extra deck. Then you use the graveyard effect to special all these four. Crystal Clearwing, like, it's fucked. Like, Osari Venom, 
uh, this new all eyes XYZ, use these and the, the opponent cannot play. So those are just two ways to do it. Or you end on Vortex Apollosa, clearing on the opponent's turn, Zark on the opponent's turn, and the follow-up is these four big boys. So you just have a big-ass Dragons, Kaiba style, but instead of three, we got eight. I'm going to show you guys the deck list now, but before I do, before we do, last chance, guys. I would say by now, if you're watching the video, I would say definitely at least eight were sold, probably. Still a chance you get one of them for free. So remember, whoever is the first and tenth person to purchase this, I'll be sending the screenshots into my video tomorrow. Whoever is the first and tenth to purchase these deck boxes will be receiving them for absolutely free. So make sure to go check them out. And even if you're not the first or tenth, you're still gonna get the best deck box in the game. So that's totally cool. And lastly, now that you guys got this far and the video is almost done, I want to let you guys know that I'm back with videos. There's gonna be videos every single day and I'm releasing a campaign for Triff Gaming. That we're actually gonna be releasing not just one video a day, but five. Sounds a little crazy, but it's happening. I've assembled a team to do this. And I know it's crazy to go from three months no uploading to a video post every five days. But I'm doing it because I love Yu-Gi-Oh! I love you guys and I miss you guys. So we'll be doing that very shortly. And I'll be updating you guys that on streams. Which, not just five videos, but three, four streams a week as well. Uh, just non-stop Yu-Gi-Oh! And your one-stop shop for everything you need Yu-Gi-Oh! This is the deck list. The deck list is going to capitalize on as many humanly possible ways to get the Dark Worm. And to get the Supreme King Gate Magician. So bringing Gate Magician is, is the greatest card in this deck by a landslide. And we have 19 ways to get it. So Light Worm, Gate Zero, and Arc Pendulum are not that necessary. These 19, well, they're necessary as one-ups. But these 19 is what are all the greatest cards in this deck that really make it together. Playing 16 Hand Traps. Going second, you can put in the three Jewels if you like. Uh, you could remove one Soul of the Supreme King. You could remove, I keep one Light Worm, it is good. You can remove like Prosperity or something, or it's good as well going second, but you're probably gonna draw a lot of hand traps. As I would say going second, you could remove like one Shrine, one Prosperity, one and Soul of the Supreme King, if you want 19 hand traps. And now because you're playing so many hand traps, you can play these traps going first that are just, just so powerful. Skill Dream is absurd in this deck. It's so, so, so good in this deck. And a combination, every floodgate's good in this deck. So uh, to still have cards for back row, because you'll have Trap Trick to get Duster, but also still have Feather Duster. So you have five cards for back row, 19 hand traps. And when you're going first, you're set because you put in the Trap Trick with one of each of these. So you're able to get Trap Trick in the Torrential or any of these. So it's extremely powerful. The extra deck, this is a form of the extra deck. You could be slightly altered. You need to play two Zark for sure. The new Zark, light Zark, whatever fucking dog shit card. You could play it if you like as the third one. Then you just need to play two XYZs, two Fusion, two Synchros, just one Pendulum Dragon. Uh, because it's not the real pendulum dragon it needs to be a pendulum pendulum so you could still uh, you still play one of these for the sake of uh soul of the supreme king uh but that one eyes arc pendulum dragon is typically all you'll need and then six extra cards for putting up combos and negates instead of that i like that below this is good you can put in like an access code or something if you want but it's not really necessary that's it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, make sure guys to check out the link down below. It's gonna be sold out pretty soon So make sure to check that out. It's a limited edition deck box. I love you guys Thank you again for staying with me for the next week, last three months. I'm not posting. I look forward to the, tomorrow's video where I'm gonna be discussing Should I tell you guys? No, we'll keep it a surprise, but it's gonna be a video you guys don't want to miss Thank you guys. Make sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you